Welcome to all. Dear listener, Kingdom of God is a very important topic. So we would like to invite you to join our devotion this year. The concept of the Kingdom of God is repeated throughout the Bible. This devotion was written by Dr. Peter Kamleshwar Prasad Singh. We would be honored if this message was a blessing for you. Meditation on the Kingdom of God, Day 12 Eden was enjoying close fellowship with God for some time, and it represented the world, man, the human race, and the animals, and animal kingdom. The consequences of the fall therefore affected the whole creation, man and animal alike. The serpent had chosen the woman to talk to, challenging her dependency on God and enticing her with a different future, with his lies, and he had succeeded. Now God pronounced the verdict to the woman. Her sorrow and pain and childbearing was greatly multiplied. Her desires, despite the pain and suffering, would be for her husband, and he would rule over her. Even after the woman had been going through all of this and continued with her husband, the serpent intended to destroy God's plan of a family unit, but after eating the fruit, it was established and strengthened. The song sung by the man for the woman took meaning now. This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife. They shall become one flesh. Genesis 2, 23 and 24. The curse made the promise come true for man and woman. It made the wife cling to her husband and her husband cling to his wife and become one flesh. To be continued. Thank you for listening to this devotion. Let's meditate and apply it in your life according to your conviction. Please give any suggestion and comment on this. God bless you. Have a good day.